Do you see this as the future of incident management? I think that they're very complementary. So um, I'll give you an example. If I have a workflow in order to restart a machine, that is a deterministic workflow that I want to happen the exact same way every single time. And I might want to put guardrails into that workflow. Uh, but how do you promote that workflow to a human in an incident at the right moment? We call that adaptive automation. It's basically the idea that there might be elements of automation that continue to have the traditional approach of rigid guardrails and you know kind of lots of controls to make sure that you're not going you know kind of crazy when you're writing some of these things during an incident but i do think there's a role at the top for dynamically bringing in that automation at the right moment and using more intelligence behind those triggers versus the traditional you know kind of coding a specific alert to a specific set of workflows, because that tends to be really fragile. It breaks when APIs change, it breaks when alerts change. And I think that that's been one of the big things that's prevented a lot of ado automation adoption.